fucking dais is probably Ellie. So do not worry. I believe she is okay. Ellie! Can you hear me, Ellie? Deus is no longer active. It's all over now. So come out of there. Show me your face. Ellie! Ellie! What? What the? What's happening? Doc, what's going on? What's wrong? I am now detecting a tremendous amount of energy coming with, from within Deus. It seems as if something that was sealed up till now has suddenly been freed and is growing enormously. It couldn't be. The wave existence? The wave existence? That's gotta be it. The wave existence was just freed from its cage of fleshly existence in Zohar. It's probably attempting to return to the higher dimension that it originally came from. Which means, this is the after effect of the dimensional shift? What do you mean, after effect? It is like a shockwave that is induced by the dis dimensional displacement. But so much energy? If this much energy is unleashed here now, if so much energy is unleashed, then what will happen, Doc? Tell us! Then this planet will be annihilated. These numbers indicate that it has more en than enough energy to take out a whole planet. What do you mean? You can't be serious. We all fought so hard only to see this happen. Isn't there? Isn't there anything we can do? Can't we stop the after effect? Unfortunately, there is nothing we can do. Almost all machinery, including our gears, are out of commission due to Zohar having been shut down. This time, there is nothing we can do. To put it to you straight, this is the end for us. This is freaking stupid! How the hell could it all end like this? What are we all fighting for up to now? The vibrations are intensifying! Hold on a second, no! These vibrations are different! It has to be something else causing it! Look! Deus is... Deus is rising? What is it this time? Deus is releasing its remaining energy and is beginning to accelerate. If it continues to accelerate the, at this rate, it'll soon leave the atmosphere. You don't think... Think what? That it's Ellie? Ellie is moving Deus. Are you sure? I'm sure of it. Ellie is trying to save us by moving Deus away from our planet. She's going to sacrifice herself. That can't be. Oh, Ellie. Can't we do anything? We can't just sit here and watch this happen, can we? Mm. Wait, there's still something I can do. What is it, Faye? My gear still works. Without Zohar, the power source for your gears, the only gear that re now remains active is mine. Just like Deus, my gear and I made contact with Zohar. We are the only ones who can move now. I am going to go save Ellie. That's absurd! Even if you were able to catch up to Deus, you will not have enough energy to make it back. Even so, I still must go. Ellie's taken the whole burden upon herself. If anything happens to her, I want to be there with her. Just wait a minute. You know I'm not going to stand by and let you commit double suicide if that's what you're planning. Bart. You better come back alive, you hear? Promise me. Promise me that you will come back. Then I'll let you go. Thanks, Bart. I promise. I promise you that I will return with Ellie. You better. Yeah, of course. Alright, let's then get going. But... Let's let him go, Stan. At this point, Faye's the only one that will be able to bring Ellie back. There's nothing we can say or do about it. You are right, Faye. Keep your promise. No matter what. Faye and Ellie. Both of you. Come back home. We'll be waiting for you, too. I appreciate this, Bart and the rest of you. Well, I'd better get going now. But don't worry, I will be back soon. I guess this will be the last journey you and I make together. I'm counting on you, partner.
found him again. We gotta take him on this time with just Xeno Gears. We can do it. What the hell is that? Oh, did you really think that was gonna be it? No. No, there's a surprise final boss in this one. Sucked through the dimensional displacement, I assume, and now we're naked. Where am I? That's Ellie. This must mean that I am inside of Deus? Not exactly. Your actual body is but a physical object. It has merely been absorbed into Deus' outer shell. Only your consciousness is here. Of course, the girl you perceive in front of you is also not a true being. Your consciousness is merely creating her image. What? The wave existence? No, that's not you. Who are you? It can't be. Is that you, Krellian? That's right, isn't it? Krellian, it was you who did this to Ellie. The path of Sephiroth has been connected. No one can stop God from returning to his world now. So, what have you come here for, Lakan? I came here to take the person I love back with me, so set Ellie free. The Deus' system has been destroyed. It's all over now. So instead I ask you, what are you hoping to achieve now? The time when all things started, the place where all things were one, I am going to return there. What place? Before the beginning of the universe, in the undulating waves of the higher dimension, all things were one. It was the waves spilling out from there that created this four-dimensional universe of ours. Humankind and the souls of humankind that were born from there are merely leftovers from those, from those spilled waves. So, you're going back there? Is that what you desired? Lakehan? Why such reluctance to become one with the god? What attachment could you possibly have to this wretched old world? What meaning can be found in living out such a short existence? Hurting others, hurting yourself, grinding one another down, only to inevitably die and return to dust. Why everything we could ever desire is here. No need to be troubled by the need for love, for this place is filled with the love of God. I have not lost hope in humans as much as you have, Krellian. Someday humankind will come to understand one another. I sincerely believe that. How can you be so sure? Humans will never come to understand each other. You said that she is the person you love, but can you say that you even truly understand each other? All humans do is place themselves at a comfortable distance from each other and call that mutual understanding, spiritual unity, or true love, but it is all lies. Man cannot associate with others without first deceiving themselves. That is the way that they were created. But one's being's ego can't determine everyone's fate. People have the right to choose their own destiny. That is why humans have free will. And what if that will itself was predetermined? What then? Oh, what folly! Humans are just primitive life forms that have no such things as free will. Mankind has merely been allowed to live in an imperfect state, as is, as will be, it is for this very reason, because humans have this wretched will, or whatnot, that humans must experience sadness and loss. For someone to gain something means another must lose it. It is impossible to make humankind share limited things and affections. So I came to the conclusion that everything must be reverted back to where it all began, to go back to when all was one, waves, and nothing else. It is not my human's ego, it is the will of the waves, the will of God. Well, that's alright too. You don't have to be perfect. Actually, being imperfect makes mankind live by helping each other. That's what being human is. That's mutual understanding. That's unity and love. I'm glad. No, I'm proud to be human. Ellie placed the future, tomorrow, in our hands, based on our choice, and she is working to keep Deus far from our planet. She is also trying to heal your heart, you, 
who wants to journey all alone to be with God. Can't you understand Ellie's feelings? Do you have to become one with God before you are able to comprehend all of this? I understand. I know her feelings, as if they were my own. Yes, she and I are one. We don't need God's help. Well then, prove it to me. Show me this power of humans. Show me this love that you can say, that you say can make you independent of God. That looks like Miang to me, that. Ugh. Another boss fight. I am ready for you. I will take you on naked. I don't even care. Let's do this. Oh. I guess I'll summon Xenogears too. That'll help. Now, like most final bosses, this one is... Well, it's easier than the last one. I'll put it that way. I'll put it that way. Um... Xenogears kind of always has a hyper mode of 99%. This is a Robolus, by the way. And it doesn't do very much damage at all. We got a full heal after the last battle. Let's just, let's just pound this thing into the ground. Um, hyper mode percentage, that's the percentage of going into infinity mode. Um, I never really went over that before because, honestly, don't try to go into infinity mode ever. Like, ever. It's horrible. But, since it's 99% here, might as well. Just just don't do a death blow, and ta-da, we're in level mode infinity. Let's go ahead and push out Kishin. Why not do this as epically as we can? You gonna give me another shot? Let's go for another kitchen. We go into space to defeat you. Another 10,000 damage. And down goes a Robolus. Down she goes. And that truly is the end. Ellie. Faye, it was Krellian. Krellian released me. Krellian? Yes, I came to understand after becoming one with Krellian. His heart was so full of sadness. That is why he desired for he and I to become one with God. Because that would be the return to the beginning of everything. He told me, you should be with him. That is what he said. You see, he already knew. Yes, he already knew how I felt, how you felt. But there was nothing we or he could do. He had no choice but to go forward. Even if it meant he lost all feelings, lost everything that was human, for all humankind's sake. There was no going back. Even looking back held too many memories. And he would have just wanted to go back, even though he couldn't. So please forgive him. Krillian loved people more than anyone else. I... I somehow knew it all along. I just knew he was really that kind of person. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I was wrong. I thought sacrificing myself in order to save others was the right thing to do. But my actions only brought sadness to all the people who I left behind. And that sadness gave birth to even more sadness. As long as I still live within you, my life is not just mine alone. Ellie, that isn't wrong. To sacrifice yourself for others is a noble thing. Even if it were to benefit yourself, it's no problem. There will always be a person healed, one or the other. Love gains its original shine only when there is an interrelationship between the giver and the receiver. 
is incomplete when one or the other is missing. The two are one. It was you, Ellie, who taught me that. I believe that is what it means to be human. I can now understand the true importance of it. I don't know if it's the right answer or not, but we have a lot of time to think about it. What Krellian himself was looking for all along, we will find the answer to it all, ourselves. Thank you, Faye.